Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Guruji channel. So in the last video we were seeing how to create a API spec designing our first API specification. So in this video I'm going to import this specification into our AnyPoint Studio. So to export the RAML file, select the option as download, it gets downloaded. So we have downloaded the RAML file. So after downloading the RAML file, navigate through file, new, and then select means of project. So if you see here, we have two versions of runtime. So you can choose either one of it or you may or may not have multiple runtime versions. So it's recommended to choose the latest version which you have in your local system. So I'm just going to give a project name for this. I'm just going to name it as REST Ramal Ramal Hello World. So the important thing is here, so as we have the RAML file, we can generate a project with help of this option. So I have downloaded in my local system. So there are two ways. One is you can import a RAML file or you can just connect to a design center, which we'll be seeing in the upcoming videos. So as of now, I'm going to refer the RAML project, RAML file, uh, apologies. I'm just going to click finish. So once you finish, uh, the project gets created. So what happens here is uh, a new project gets created and the projects will have your method names as a parent flow so in our project we have diff in our raml specification we have specified one get method so we have the get method and if you open the transform message so this is the this is the sample message which we have given in api specification so i'm not going to make much changes into this so in real world example we'll be having some orchestration uh, routers and other stuff will be added up so as this is a first application I'm just directly going to run this application so here what I'm going to do is uh, after this has been generated auto generated from the RAML file I'm just going to add a logger before the transformer so that we can have a log when an application gets hit so i'm just going to mention it as inside get method and there are different level of log level so i'm just going to give it as uh, info and one more thing what you can do is you can set a payload Set payload sets the payload, whatever has been after the transformation, or you can hard code a payload. So, this is not required in this step, but I just recommend to have a set payload. So, once these are done, just save your changes, right click, and run the project. So, this takes some time to build all your dependencies and what happens basically is our application is getting deployed in the mule server and the mule server version is 4.1.5 which i'm currently having so we can upgrade this mule server and i'll be posting how to upgrade this in any point studio to the latest version of MuleSoft or a stable version in the MuleSoft. So 
so other than that uh, you will get a uh, outline layout so you can see uh, what are the applications i mean what are in the application what do we have what components do we have and as you mentioned as part of this raml generation you will get a api kit console as well so it really helps us so if you see here this is the api kit console so what happens is whenever your application has been deployed there is something called as api kit consoles get generated you can open this console and you can we can hit our application so once we click the link so uh, api kit console gets launched and this is something to help us to test the application and we can use other tools which are available like soap ui postman and other such tools can be used so as of now i'm just going to to this get method and if you see this is the if you remember this is the the json schema which we have defined the api specification and this is the uri i'm just going to try it and this is the url so this api has been added so when we generate a project from raml file so as part of the http listener this api gets added up so we can edit it in the http listener in our application and redeploy so as of now let it be it i'm just going to hit the application so once we hit the application you can see we have got a response message which we have defined so now what we are going to do is we are going to see the logs which we have printed before the transform component so once we navigate to the anypoint studio you can see a log message and it serves inside get method so this is a log which we have added and it has successfully been printed so that's it we have for this video and see you in the next videos if you like this video like it share it and comment it and subscribe for more videos related to mule4 thank you and see you in the next video cheers bye